guys, welcome to Rotorat. I'm Bubby FPV, and today we're going to be doing a Rotorat community spotlight where we have scoured the internet to find the best FPV videos and share them with you guys today. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it and start off with good old freestyle. First up, we have Keck FPV with Destroy My Limits, and I bet the video is just as strong as the title. Starting off with this really awesome band of, he's really good at those power loop gap things. Ooh, he did a Matty flip there, that was really nice. I really love these types of videos in bandos where they're not just flying around, but they're also doing a lot of tricks. Um, I know that's something that I struggle with is when I just do like fly, flights around bandos. I'm always just flying in a straight line, hitting gaps, but he's doing all the juicy sauce, hitting all the gaps, inverted, power looping all the things, all the matty flips. Really talented pilot here. I don't think I've seen much from him. Short video, it's only a minute and 30 seconds, but it's a minute and 30 seconds of absolute fire. Next up we have JWeb FPV, all the way from Australia. This video is titled Hold the Line. I think it's a one take video he's doing. I like how he did his first flip on beat with the music. I always love flight videos that are really like in tune and aligned with the music. It just really adds that another element. Really awesome video. In this video, he's kind of doing that little stang thing, but he's also getting in some proximity around the trees, which is something we don't see much. I think this guy runs like 1500 degrees per second rate. And it's really impressive how much control he has over the quad. I'm just watching this and every movement looks like it's planned out. So really good job, Jacob. I'm really liking this video so far. Also another short and sweet video, it's only a minute 30 seconds, so all the activity condensed into one short little video, I love it. Next up we got JBox FPV, and if you guys know JBox, he is a racing pilot, really fast guy, I think he placed like 10th at Champs 2022, so it's really nice to see these racer guys dabbling a little bit into freestyle. First thing I noticed is I really like the colors in this video, it kind of has a blue tint over it, which I think really fits nicely with the with the sunset that he has. Whenever we have sunsets and we have a blue color grade, it's something that I really like personally. This spot looks fun too. I wanna fly this spot. One thing I really like about JBox's freestyle in particular is a lot of racer pilots, when I see them do freestyle, they do really fast, almost race track style movements. So I really like to see him getting into the flow thing and really, really making it his own freestyle flow type. He really has his own style, which I really like. Oh, flying over the water, it's pretty risky. Whenever people fly over water in flight videos, it's always like adds another like element of risk because if you crash, you're gonna lose your drone. Really awesome video, JBox. I'm super stoked to see you flying freestyle. I know you're big into racing, but definitely want to see more freestyle from you in the future. Next up, we have Leon Vander, and Leon's actually one of my really good friends. And this video he made is honestly one of the best FPV freestyle videos I've seen. This video is called Johnny Tribute because he flew at the legendary reverse wall ride. Johnny FPV flight location. So let's go ahead and get into it. Once again, a wonderful color grade, golden hour, so that nice blue tint he has going. Th this video, like, it really like the Johnny FPV style of kind of juicy flickness. Like, I haven't seen that from a lot of people, so it's really great to see this style back again. I like that little reverse thing off the tree. It's not even like he's doing the most technically difficult tricks. There's just something about the style that he has that is so it's, I just can't even explain it. It's like watching a good old Johnny video. He's getting really close to that glass wall, which is definitely high risk because if you crash from that glass, you might crack it, but I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna assume that he didn't break the glass this time. Really awesome flying. But Leon, awesome video man. I really love to see your freestyle and I hope you keep posting more videos. Next, we're gonna move to the cinematic category. Starting off, we have FPV Gym. Ooh, nice. I always love dives through clouds. That was really clean. Where is he at? Like this location just seems really awesome. These really beautiful mountains right off the, the coast of the ocean. One thing he's really good at in cinematic flying is we want those long, slow, sweeping turns and that's what I'm really liking about this video is all his movements are very slow and nothing's too jerky. It's really smooth. Like I said earlier, flying over the water is super risky and this is an ocean so like if he goes down, he's not getting it back which is really risky, but I mean, obviously the payout is really wonderful. Really awesome footage that he has here. He has a deep six build, which I think that's a waterproof drone. Um, so maybe that's how he's so confident in getting really little of the water. Um, let us know in the comments, Jim, if that's what you ended up using for the over the water shots, because it looks really good. And you're getting really close to the water, which is awesome. Next up, we have Skippy FPV, all the way from South Carolina. Um, this is a cinematic one take. So whenever we hear the word one take, we think of Cine whoops and indoor flying, but this seems to be a outdoor one take with a five inch quad. Right off the bat, I hear sound design, which I really love sound design. Always adds another element to make you feel like you're actually there while watching the video. That's some tight flying in these trees. There could be a lot of ghost branches that could take you down. Man, this looks so good. The lighting was just perfect. There's like these really beautiful lens flares that he gets. Um, but ooh, when he pops up over the trees, man, the colors in the, in the trees, the greens in particular, are so good. They have all this almost like pinkish, bluish hue to them. I really like that. 
It looks like he also has a vlog from there. So if you want to see the behind the scenes of how he did that, make sure you go check that out. Skip the FEV, that was an awesome video, man. Definitely keep up the cinematic work. And our last entry for the cinematic category is Joshua Turner, and it's titled Venice. So he's flying the rivers, he's flying over these really cool structures. And the, once again, the lighting, they're always flying during golden hours, so it looks really good. This is a really cool video, man. Like showcasing Venice like this is beautiful. You have those iconic boats that the guys are standing on and paddling, he's flying around those. And he's flying under all these bridges and such a really, really pretty, really pretty shots he's getting. Really showcasing the area off really well. It seems like he's intentionally getting the camera right in the lens flares and it really adds just an ultra cinematic part to this video. He got some reverse clips in there which is nice as well. They make sense, like I feel like a lot of the times we see rewound videos it's like a little bit choppy and you can see the turns a lot but this was really smooth and really Really elegant flying there. Awesome video, man. I really enjoyed that. Keep up the awesome work. All right, so before we get into this next category, links to all of these people are, will be in the description below. Make sure to go subscribe to all of them. Give them a like because these guys are really awesome and we want to bring them up in the community. All of them have, I think, below a thousand subs. So let's go ahead and get them a sub boost. Next up, we have Indoor Micro Drone Freestyle. And this is something that I really enjoy because I just came out with a new product called the Babito Spider Sugar FPV. Oh, would you look at that? He's using a Babito. Nice, he's getting the flips indoors. He likes this hallway that goes from the second floor to the first floor. Doing flips and rolls and stuff and inside is always pretty challenging because we have, we have a height limit. So giving just the right amount of throttle and just the right amount of catch is really important to making your rolls and flips look really clean indoors. Really nice flying, man. Next up, we have T-Dog FPV, and T-Dog is an amazing racer. He's really well known for five inch racing, as well as whoop racing. Really cool video, he's like freestyling inside of the mall. There's not that many people there, so it's probably the perfect time to get this done. He's getting the fast flips around the chairs, orbit the table. He's really smooth. That's one thing I really like to see from these tiny wheel pilots, is they're always really smooth, which is really hard to be with these small drones. Any micro movements, they really show in the drone, so it's doing an awesome job of being really smooth while flying. Okay, so now we get to the race. That's why there's a race in the title. And it's just so fast while racing. Tiny Whip courses are always so cool because they just go all out. They put all the LEDs and make the track just look really visually cool. So this is a really awesome track. I, is, is this actually at the mall? Because if, if there's a mall that's hosting a Tiny Whip race, that's really awesome. I want to go to that mall. I hope to keep seeing awesome gorilla whooping videos from you in the future. Next up, we have Evasion FPV. Um, this guy actually has been coming up in the community a bit. He posts a lot of these YouTube shorts, um, which are really nice little short pockets of awesome flying. Happy Halloween, guys! This video is definitely on theme for today because it's Halloween, and he's flying around all the scary costumes and stuff that he has going on, flying in spirit Halloween. Perfect, perfect timing, man. I like how he has a stick can, stick can going, but he's also talking over it. So he's like narrating what he's thinking about. Awesome video, Vision. Keep posting the awesome YouTube shorts. I look forward to them every time you post. And our final last category, we have vlogs. And vlogs are something that it's really great to see a bunch of people doing them because it's very scary to put yourself out on the internet. So kudos to all these people who are putting themselves out there and getting the awesome freestyle clips in their vlogs. So first up, we have Captain Kazi. He always posts really amazing vlogs and he's also like in the whole film world so his vlogs are always super high quality which I really enjoy. This is Big Sur Unseen. He's flying with friends which is always super fun. Vlogs with friends and having a bunch of people incorporated. It's always really fun because you feel like you're there hanging out with their homies. Nice B-roll. It's really pretty. Always love good B-roll in a vlog. Really just like, just adds like a little nice element to your vlogs. Alright so here we have the cinematic clip. Wow. That's really pretty. Popping up for the golden sunset. <laughs> wow. Cue the birds, man. Those birds were there on time. They just like, those birds were really paid actors for this for this shot or something. That was, that was a really cool shot. I like this vlog. It's more of like a, a kind of like a montage of a whole fun trip, which is really cool. Awesome vlog, Captain Kazi. I always look forward to your vlogs. They're super entertaining. So keep posting, keep doing the awesome vloggity vlog thing. And for our last entry in the vlog category, we have Kim Fuse. Um, Kim Fuse is an awesome pilot and she does a lot of live streams with her husband, Gardo. So it's really awesome to see their vlogs, FPV couple. Really raw feels to this vlog, which I like. Not, not too overproduced. So it looks like they stopped off the side of the road. This really interesting area, there's like a bunch of random animal statues there. This looks like a really fun place to fly around. They're just, it's very random. There's like a 
oversized bicycle statue, oversized hippopotamus statue, even a pink elephant. I want, I want to fly here. Okay, so it's an antique mall. I just read the sign, that's what it is. All right, really awesome vlog, Kim Fuse and Gardo. Really enjoyed that, really love seeing how you guys tell your story. Really interesting to see where they're going on the road trip down the Route 66. All right, so that's gonna be it for this Rotorac Community Spotlight. October 31st, it's the last day, so hopefully you guys have a happy Halloween. Don't get too sugar high. Make sure you don't eat too much candy because some of you guys got work the next day and I would hate for you guys to <laughs> throw up on your boss or something like that. All the videos will have linked in the description. Go sub to them. And that's gonna be it for this episode of Rotorac, guys. Thank you so much. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button to our channel and also the notification bell. And if you like the video, also smash the like button. I'll see you guys later. Ciao.